Hey guys, and welcome back. Well, you know, it was, uh, we were having a discussion about this one woman who took social media and she explained her story. Uh, um, she, her and her husband have a five-year-old son and then it was a question of paternity among the husband. And at the husband's discretion, he got a DNA test, which revealed that the son that he had loved and adored for five years was not his son. And uh, unfortunately, he divorced the wife and kind of divorced the son and, and has nothing to do with the son anymore. And she was saying that uh, men should step up and be men and that if they find out that that child who they had loved all the five years, uh, he should continue loving that child and not punish him for um, the mother's mistake. So it was a lot of people who chimed in on social media and they even discussed this on the Ricky Smiley show on today about uh, did uh, you agree with the mom who's saying that the man should step up and still be the child's father and not tell him that he wasn't the father. He should just remain doing his fatherly doing uh, duties and stay in the child's life, even though he divorced the mother. And a lot of people chimed in and said, yes, they think that that man should do that. But then it was a lot of other people saying that Hell no, they sh he should uh, run as fast as he can away from that mother and not look back and not be in the uh, house life. And that's was on the mother. She should have uh, not kept that a secret if she had any doubt. So I said, hey, this would be a great video and see about how my audience will uh, think about this. I mean, Really, let's 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 put our mindset in the mother's mindset and in the father. It's oh wow, I don't think it's a right answer in this situation because, um, you know, for that father to find out that I am not this my son's father, I am not his biological father, I'm none of his genes are in me. What if he? You know, I mean, I, I could just only imagine how shocked he was. And I know the wife is saying, hey, you know, fault me. I was wrong for this. I was wrong to deceive you. Even if it was any doubt that you wasn't the father, she should have told him and then let him, you know, when the child is born, let's do this. And, and this would have kept the child from being in the crossfires. Yeah, but it's easier said than done. I mean, I can't imagine what that man is going through. And I believe that it's going to take time and prayers. You know, even if he left, you know, he, he may come back. He may come back and say, hey, you know, I've been loving this child like it's mine. I can't uh, just abandon him, you know, from, from your evil. I can't do that, you know, but I think that father needs some time and I don't think he needs to be judged at this time. Mama, you need to shut up because, you know, you could have handled this a different way and your child wouldn't have all this on him now. Because if you, if it was any doubt that this wasn't this man's child, you should have said it in the beginning uh, before this child got five years. You know, if he was a child, he was an infant when this was done and, and found out paternity, then he would have never known, uh, you know, and the man could have went on about his ways and that is. So I don't think this father should be judged. I think um, that it's going to take time and prayers. And mom, I know you went on social media and told your business, but hmm. I don't think you should belittle this man and think, you know, this was your fault. All of this was your fault. And uh, I, I pray that y'all come to some type of agreement. Uh, if you do know the real father, I think that you should try to get 
the real father, get in touch with the real father, do a DNA, making sure and planning the fatherhood. And if he wants to be in the child life, let him. Okay, but you can't summon this man to um, be in this child life if he want to anymore. Hmm. So the question is to the audience, to you guys, what y'all? All right, guys, that's it for me. Thank you so very much for watching. And I hope you will like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And as always important, be blessed, y'all.